Alright, today uh, we're going to show you some tricks on a uh, Bailey RDB 250 for bending some thin wall chromoly. Uh, this is for an in-house project. We're doing an uh, updated uh, roll cage for uh, my personal race car. It's a 25.5 uh, update. Uh, a lot of thin wall chromoly in that spec. Uh, this material is inch and a half 065. Uh, we're going to be bending it on a five and a half inch radius, which technically uh, now by the book, it shouldn't work on this tight of a radius, but uh, we'll show you a few tricks uh, that'll allow this to, uh, to work. Um, first of all, this is a brand new die, so there's plenty of, uh, of uh, pinch in the uh, bronze insert here. The former die itself has a lot of pinch in it as well, so very little wear on the die. Uh, that's a, a pretty important part of this. Uh, on top of that, we've got uh, some high-pressure bending lube in the uh, counter bend die here and then we're also going to clamp it to the uh, former die to prevent any slippage. This material's got a lot of spring back in it as well. Uh, Going to make a 90 degree bend and uh, have 8 degrees of spring back programmed into the machine. Another key aspect here is to uh, use a lot of counter die pressure to help force that material to maintain its shape. Because what it's going to want to do is wrinkle on the inside of the bend and get uh, very flat on the outside without this counter die pressure. So. As you can see, we uh, ended up with a real nice bend. Uh, very little bump at both the start and stop of the bend. And both the inside wall and the outside wall are uh, nice and round. So no flattening and no wrinkling. <laughs> 